You're watching Adorama TV. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, this week we're taking a look at the GoPro HD Helmet Hero. Now this is a camera that people have been talking about all over the internet and one of the reasons I really like it is it shows up all over the place on one of my very favorite shows on Discovery and that is Mythbusters. Uh, this camera is used for all kinds of things for sporting events and bike riders and wakeboarders and surfers and uh, guys that jump out of airplanes and on the Mythbusters what they do is they throw this in places that you would normally never think of putting a camera like underwater or at the end of guns that are going off and in explosions and all kinds of crazy things. So this is a camera uh, that does so much that people are talking about it all over the place because it's just a camera that's very inexpensive that you can use in all kinds of different situations. Now the nice thing is this thing is uh, $300 and so it's not going to break the bank and it shoots full uh, high definition video and stills and it records audio and all kinds of stuff. So before we get into all that, let's first talk about what comes with uh, this kit. So what comes with it is a waterproof case. So I'm going to open up this case really fast here so you can see this. This is the actual camera. This is the waterproof case. And so it comes with that. It also comes with a, uh, a vented helmet strap. So if you have a bicycle helmet or uh, a helmet that has uh, uh, vents in it, you can hook this onto your helmet and then wear the camera right on your head. So motocross uh, riders can do this. It also has uh, some curved and flat mount points that have some, uh, some sticky stuff so you can actually use the adhesive on this to stick it onto uh, maybe a uh, motorcycle helmet or the side of a wall or a car or whatever you want to stick it onto but these are pretty um, sticky so once you stick it on there it's going to stick for quite a while. It also comes with this uh, helmet strap so if you don't have a uh, helmet maybe you're a a hiker or something you just want to document what you're doing you can stick that on your head and mount this camera right to the top of your head it's pretty cool and it also comes with this pivot arm so what happens is this pivot arm attaches to this case and I'll show you later how this mounts to all different types of cases and then the other thing is this has these uh, two clips and so what you can do is this slides in and out of all these different attachments here so that's how that works all right, there's some more stuff that this comes with. It comes with a USB cable to hook it up to your computer. And oh, by the way, it works with both Mac and PC. So that's good news. It also has component out. So if you want to just plug this into your camera and show your high def video on your big screen TV, you can do that. Or you can go old school. It comes with a normal AV cable for standard def video. Uh, inside the camera, there is a rechargeable battery. So I'll open up this back here. So you can see that there's this battery built right in. So that comes with it. Now you charge that up using a, uh, the USB cable that comes with this. So you just plug it into your computer and it's gonna charge that battery up and it's got this little light right here that, that shows you that that's charging. Well, while I'm talking about the actual camera, let's talk about these two buttons here. There's one on the front and there's one on the top and you control everything with these two buttons. And the one in the front allows you to set the options like uh, if you're shooting still or you're shooting video or what resolution you're shooting in. So basically when you push that, it goes to different uh, menu options. And when you're going through there, you'll see which one that you want to change. And then you press the button on the top and it will change the options. So you can go through and say, okay, I want to shoot different uh, resolution. That's the one I want to shoot. And then you'll change that. Or, hey, I want to shoot in still mode. That's the one I want to do. And you'll change that. And so that's sort of how this works. There's only two buttons and it comes with uh, instructions to tell you exactly what all the different options mean. So these two buttons and this little screen, it's pretty simple. And uh, once you have things set up, usually you're just working with this top button to turn the camera on and off. Now, the nice thing is when you put this in its case, the uh, buttons actually have these external buttons right here. And so uh, I tried this out actually on my motorcycle. I had these big gloves and I wanted to see if it was uh, easy to, uh, to shoot with you know, gloves or if you're outside in the cold. And it actually is really easy to get these things to, uh, to push the buttons on the camera. And so it's made with uh, you know, sports in mind. So that's how that works. Now there are things that you can buy, optional accessories. So one of them is this guy right here. This is the GoPro suction cup with mount. And so that just sticks on any flat surface. You push this little button there and then there you have it. It's really, really nice and tight. And so that's not gonna wiggle its way off. So it has to be a flat surface but it's really nice and sturdy. There's also the GoPro roll bar mount for mounting to uh, cars and boats and ATVs. That's this guy right here. 
And so it just goes on anything basically that's round and clamps right on there. If you have something that's a little bit smaller, like a bicycle seat post or a handlebar, well, they've thought of that too. There's the GoPro Ride Hero seat post and handlebar tube clamp, and that's 20 bucks. So these are really affordable, 30 bucks, 30 bucks, $20. It's really nice. Now, one thing I wanna mention, this waterproof case also comes with a non-waterproof case that has actually holes in it. And what that allows you to do is if you're shooting outside and you don't really care about the weather, um, you can put this on the back and that allows you to record audio. Um, and in the, the instruction manual, it says that uh, you can shoot, uh, capture audio up to 100 miles an hour. So depending on how fast you're riding your bike or jumping out of an airplane, you actually can get audio up to about 100 miles an hour. And I tested that out on my motorcycle and I got okay audio. I would definitely not put it in the uh, exceptional realm, but you can hear what's going on. Well, let's talk about the video resolutions and some of the other tech specs. This guy will shoot in many different modes, video modes. Um, it will shoot at full uh, 1080p at 30 frames per second, 960p at 30 frames per second, it will shoot at 720p at both 60 and 30 frames per second. And you can even shoot at standard def at 60 frames per second. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a mono microphone that's built in that does an okay job of recording, you know, what's sort of going on around you. Now this also works as a still camera. So it can shoot up to five megapixel still frame uh, shots. And the cool thing is you can use this as just a normal camera, but you can also use it as a time-lapse camera. So you can set this up to shoot every two seconds or every five seconds or 10 seconds or every 30 seconds or every 60 seconds. So you can just basically set it up uh, tell it to go and then every so often every 10 20 30 whatever seconds you set up It'll just click that off and then you can take that put it together to make a really nice time-lapse video It also has a three photo burst mode so you can take a shot and it'll go click 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 and so you can get some really cool stuff and even <laughs> yes, there's even more. It'll even do a self timer mode. So if you want to be in the shot, you can click it. It'll count down to 10 seconds and you can hop in and, and do that shot as well. Well, the other thing that's really nice about this is it has a really wide angle of view. It's got this really extremely wide, uh, wide angle lens. And so it really basically has two different angles of view. So if you're shooting at 720p or 960p, it will shoot at 170 degrees, which is crazy. I mean, that's almost uh, half of our angle of view, which is really, really crazy. If you put it at 1080p, well, the angle of view goes down to 127 degrees, but that is still pretty uh, wide. It's pretty crazy. And the lens, by the way, is a 2.8 fixed focus lens. So you're not gonna have to focus this on anything. And 2.8 just means that it can suck in lots of light. And so you can use this in all different situations. Now, we took this out for some practical testing, and specifically I threw it on my motorcycle and, and rode around and did all kinds of things. And one of the things that I discovered was it's really easy to operate when you have gloves and things like that on, and so that's a really big plus. One of the things I did notice, though, specifically on the suction cup, there's a one really nice thing, and that's these bottom uh, mounts right here. You can hear it clicking. These actually have gears in them to make sure that they lock into place, but this top little bar here it doesn't have gears and what happened was uh, I thought I had it pretty tight but it actually slid sideways during the ride so you don't want that so you really have to tighten that down to make sure that it's uh, nice and stable um, and I was riding on the road not off-road so um, it wasn't a really rough ride so make sure you really tighten that down now the other thing that I've noticed is all of these little attachments here they've got these little nuts um, that uh, uh, really help you tighten that in. So when you take out this side, occasionally these guys fall out. And so um, that's one thing that you have to watch out for because you don't want to wind up on location and discover that you can't mount your camera because of uh, a little nut that's been lost. The other thing that I, I noticed that's a little bit different, uh, a few months ago we reviewed the Contour HD and that guy had lasers to let you know exactly what the angle of view is and exactly what you're shooting. And the GoPro has no indicator whatsoever. There's nothing to tell you what you're seeing in the frame. And so it's a little bit of trial and error. Now, one of the things is this, uh, this wide angle lens is so wide, you just basically have to point it in a certain direction and 
<laughs> Nine times out of ten, you're going to get what you're uh, pointing at. The problem is with things like uh, race cars and motorcycles and things where you have to watch out for windscreens or you really want to uh, catch maybe the uh, indicators like the speedometer and things like that, it's really difficult to get that in the frame exactly like you want it or to even make sure that this is uh, exactly level. So I wish there was some kind of indicator that helped out with that, but there's not. Other than that, uh, I had a blast playing with this camera. I've seen tons of footage that other people have shot with it. And hands down, I think it's one of the best cameras made out there, especially because it's only $300. So once again, it's the GoPro HD Helmet Hero for 300 bucks. I think it's the one you should go with if you're an extreme sports photographer. Well, thanks so much for joining me this week. Remember, if you have some uh, photography gear that you'd like me to review or questions about photography gear, you can send those to me at askmark at adorama.com, and I might just use your suggestion on an upcoming episode. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.